the boss himself, and she asks around, did anyone see my husband uh, now? Yeah, he's learning over there in the shul, in the synagogue. She goes there and she says, what happened to you? What's going on? Suddenly you decided to learn? They need you in the store. Things are running well, but not as well as when you're there. He said, I want to ask you a question. He says, what happens if I would be dead? What would happen? He said, there's nothing you can do. You're stuck. He says, the three hours in the morning, I'm dead. I don't exist. And you, this is a true story. I think it's the Chafetz Chaim that brings down that this actually happened. He says, I'm not alive those three hours. He says, don't bother me. I'm not interested. I have to learn. I have Rosh Hashanah coming. I want a good year. Kechu imachem dvarim. Take with you these words. Rabbi Usher spoke about the husband helping. And the husband saying, this is not for me. What are you talking about? I don't want to do the dishes. I should do the dishes. I should bring out the garbage. This happened. Rav Gifta was the Rosh Yeshiva in Tel's Yeshiva. And one day, a couple, a young couple, they were married. And uh, the son, the, the, one of the students, the married students, went over to Rav Gifta. He says, you know something, Rosh Yeshiva, something really bothers me about my wife. He says, what's the problem? He says, I, I know it's, she's from a good family. She lets you learn. He says, yeah, but she requests from me I should bring the garbage out. He says, me? The big Talmud Chacham? It doesn't, it, it, it's not right. It doesn't, you would ask a king to take out the garbage, he says. So Rabbi Gifta said to him, no problem. He says, I'll speak to her. The next morning, he knocks on the door. This is a true story. He knocks on the door. And uh, he opens, the young man opens. He says, what's the Rosh Hashiva doing? What's going on? What brings me this honor that the Rosh Hashiva came? I came to take out the garbage. He says, for you, it's, you feel that it's below your dignity. He says, that's a lesson learned. That's a lesson learned. Yes, you should learn, and your wife should encourage the learning, but a person has to understand when he gets married, whether he's married five years, 10 years, and many, many more years, he has to understand there's nothing that should be below his dignity. And the more you learn Torah, the more your wife will respect you. And the more your wife encourages you to learn Torah, the more you will respect her. The thing that holds, the glue that holds the two together is Torah. By religious family, it has to be part. It's not enough. I always wondered, it says, I don't know, again, I'm not familiar with the way you daven, but there are three things. It says, Ushuva, Tvila, Utstaka, Mavirin, Esroa, Gezerah. That means if we do tshuva, and we daven well, and we give tzedakah, charity, that removes, if Hashem Chalila said that this person should die, it removes that gezerah. Things will be well. What happened to Torah? What happened to learning Torah? Tshuva, fine. Tzedakah, fine. Davening, fine. Why doesn't it say Torah? The answer is very simple. If you tell a person, and you say to a person, you have to get this for your house, you have to buy some furniture, you have to buy an armoire, you have to buy a break fund, and he says to you, why didn't you mention beds? He says, beds? That's so simple, it's self-understood. 
<coughs> you can't sleep on the floor. I only can tell you a break front, not everyone has a break front. Amois, not everyone has that. Some have a simple chest. But beds, I don't have to mention the same thing. It's so simple and so understood that a house without learning Torah is nothing. It has no relevance and it has no kiem. It's not going to remain the same thing when it comes to Rosh Hashanah, when it comes to tshuva, when it comes to this. Torah is self-understood, is the thing that we should all accept and decide to do belineva, is to take upon ourselves that we're going to learn. We're going to start simply. We're going to learn a few minutes extra. And our wives are going to encourage us to learn. And we're going to tell them, don't worry about the dishes, don't worry about the garbage, don't worry about the kids. I will take care of everything. But I want to start my day the right way. You can learn before davening, you can learn after davening. Whatever you decide is good for you. Whatever works into your schedule. But start the day before work, start it with a few minutes learning. And in that schus of the learning, then we talk, we can actually say, may reishis hashana, that the reishis hashana, the beginning of this year, this coming year, will be also achris hashana, that we will remain with all the things we wanted and we expected of ourselves and our families for the whole year. I need someone to get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah.